I completely agree with this. You can absolutely have a burger, fries once in a while and still reach your fitness goals. But as a registered dietitian who has absolutely had a phase of life where I was completely disordered really deep into it. It's actually the reason why I am now a registered dietitian. I specialize in food freedom and fitness. I want to help you understand the difference between disordered and what is actually a healthy relationship with food and you're just focused on what goals you have. Disordered eating really comes down to your intention. So if I were going to a restaurant and I really wanted the burger and fries, but I told myself, you can't have it, this is a bad food, um, in order to maintain your body, control your body, you the only way that you can have it is if you do these things, is if you split the burger, is if you eat it very slowly, is if you pay attention to the food. That intention is can be disordered because it is focused so much on control versus an intention of, okay, I'm going out to a restaurant, what sounds really good, a burger and fries sound good. I know I have full permission to eat as much as I want, but I also know from past experience that eating an entire burger, eating a whole side of fries, having an appetizer, that really doesn't make me feel so good afterwards. And I do value aesthetics. I do want to pay attention to how my body looks. And so what is best for me in the situation is I'm going to split the burger. I'm going to eat it mindfully, like really pay attention to it and enjoy it because that is what makes me feel best. And that is aligned with my goals. This is exactly what I teach inside of my coaching programs. My clients will tell you that they feel like they have total flexibility around food, really focus on what they want out of the experience of eating. And there's a lot of different ways that you could balance that. So it's hard to explain from a single post and that's probably why it got taken the wrong way.